Hello there, this is the Bible of soccer, not soccer, and in this video we're gonna talk about Belgium, a slow but safe, and about how beautiful this board looks like. So I remind you that English is not my first language, English is not my second language, that I'm going here recording everything from my cell phone with no guidelines, no teleprompter, and no master edition. Also, uh, if you want to look for more videos in English, you may look for my playlist ENG, okay? Because this is mainly a Spanish-speaking YouTube channel. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about Belgium in the context of the World Cup, Russia 2018, uh, why we say a slow but safe. Okay, because the, this team, Belgium, they have this uh, style of playing, it's a little bit slow, uh, but uh, they play very safe and it's very hard to beat them. Okay? So we're gonna start talking about uh, his uh, goalkeeper, uh, Courtois. Courtois is a goalkeeper that he likes to be there in the line by the small box. Okay, just behind that line. He doesn't like to be over there behind the post, okay, or under the post. Okay, he's always tries to be there. Okay, that makes very difficult uh, for players to score when they shoot very close or close to, to him. Okay, and he has a very good elongation and very good reflex. So, is difficult also to make goals to him to the sides or to in places where usually other goalkeepers have more difficulties but the low point of this goalkeeper is that uh, when you shoot uh, very close to him he usually have problems with that and is more easy or is easier uh, to score that way, when you shoot him very close to him, very near to his body. Okay, so basically that's how these goalkeepers play. That's the best way to score him and also from very far when you're gonna try to go this way. So because he's a little bit separated from the line of goal you want to try to go over him, okay? You can make shoot uh, from far away. Then we have here um, Alderverel. Alderverel, I don't know if my pronunciation is good, okay? But he has a very good aerial game. He has, he's a central. Okay, he's a central defender, but uh, Belgium, they play with line of three and all three of them are central defenders. And he has a very good read, reading from the opposite. And also I call this, uh, this player the defender goalkeeper. Okay, because he's very good at blocking shootings. And also sometimes he do it in a little bit of acrobatic way. Okay, but he's very good at, at that, at that, and he also do it uh, very close to the finishing line, to the scoring line. Okay, so basically that's how he plays. Then we have here uh, Vermaelen or Vermaelen. Okay, I don't know the pronunciation very well. But he has very good uh, aerial game too, very precise. That's why uh, most of the time he's gonna be playing there. Okay, and 
because he's very precise in his aerial game that's gonna help the team when he's placed here or when he's more ahead in, the, in his position when the goalkeeper from the opposite team is gonna try to get a long pass or any other player because he can hit the ball with his head and give it to another teammate okay because his aerial game is very precise also he's very good at blocking as well as Alder Vettel he's also very good at blocking okay but he has a more physical contact at the moment of the fandom and then here we have a very tongue hand and he also is very good at blocking some shoots okay they have similar styles but uh, Alder, Alder Vettel will be the best in doing that that's why I call him the defender goalkeeper and here uh, Vertonghen is very good at blocking too he also has this defending style with a lot of uh, physical contact and he is very good at sweeping okay that's the difference between him and the other two then we have here a uh, Menier okay Menier is a left uh, right back he's a right back okay he has some projection with the ball he has very cross passing okay uh, but not elevating the ball but he has very cross passing uh, in the surface surface of the field okay then uh, so this is a right back by nature so he also has a decent defending okay but in the other in the other side we have Carrasco and he's not really this one is a right back so he plays usually plays there but in this team he plays here but Carrasco his original position is here he's not a left back so he has a little bit less skill on the defending part than Menier. Okay, so Carrasco, he is the best player uh, technically, okay, with technical attributes in this team. He plays with the two legs, he can score, okay, with the right or left foot. He has a goal kicking from outside the box from long distance okay and he's very fast I call this uh, player the Diego Forlan the former Uruguayan player the Diego Forlan from the sides okay because he has a very similar way style of playing then we have uh, <clears throat> Fellaini Fellaini is a number five. He is basically a defensive midfielder, but in this team, uh, the coach he plays like a, with a fake double defensive midfielder. But in reality, only Fellaini is a defensive midfielder by nature. He is very good uh, with the aerial game. Okay, he has a very good uh, positional. Uh, sense of defending okay positional defending sense in uh, in location let's say like that he has a very good sense of location in the defending uh, side and he also is very good he's not the typical defensive midfielder that is gonna go and make a foul or has good pressure or good physical contact no he's a different uh, defensive midfielder when uh, where his uh, main attribute is gonna be uh, intercepting passes from the opposite team 
Okay, so he's a different defensive midfielder uh, from the rest of most players that they are more physical or more in the pressure side. He's very good at intercepting. Okay, and then sometimes here he can place uh, he can place Dembele. Okay, but he's usually in the bench or most of the time. Sometimes when the coach wants to adapt to some team, he can play Dembele from the started. Okay, and they move some players around. But I'm gonna try to explain what I think uh, is the strongest eleven. Okay, for this team. So then here we have uh, the best player of this team, Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne usually plays there. That's his original position. He's in reality he's a he's an organizer. Okay, but in this team he plays there. Also because in his club he was moved. To play there as well so now in the national team they're started uh, using him or using him using him there so what he has he has a very good uh, passing he has a very good cross pass by elevating the ball he's very precise on that okay he's very a smart player and very unpredictable okay i would say that that his main attribute he's a very unpredictable player you never know with what he's gonna come out and he has a good vision of the game then we have here uh, Hazard Hazard has very good dribbling very good scoring okay and very good also at cross passing then we have uh, Mertens. Mertens has good uh, ball control, control of the ball, and very good definition to score. Okay. And here we have uh, Romelu Lukaku. He has a very good definition in first touch, which is very important for this team. He has a very good aerial game too. He has a strong uh, physical presence inside the box and uh, his low point is that he doesn't have a very uh, he doesn't have a very good sense of location he has a very good he has very good understanding with the teammates okay that's one thing but a different thing is having a good sense of location okay he has very good understanding, but if we are going to try to reach the perfection or in what this player is the best, his low point would be that uh, his sense of location. Okay, but like I say, he's still good on this and he has a very good understanding, especially in the national team. So there is no problem with this. <clears throat> okay. Then, uh, how this team plays, how they play. So this team, usually in the defending side, they play like this with four and then five the strongest players in the defending side. Then we have here uh, Carrasco, which is uh, good. At, he can be good at pressure and to steal the ball sometimes but he really doesn't feel uh, the mark or the opposite player, okay? Because in reality, he's not a defensive player. And here we have the Bruin, like the Bruin, like he can also go and pressure a little bit and steal the ball sometimes. Also, these two players go back to help and the only one who pretty much uh, remains uh ready to score or, re or ready to uh, go in attacking is uh, Romeleo Lukaku okay this team 
they have a very particular play a style of playing which is usually playing very slow but very organized and a lot of discipline okay uh, i always say that spain they didn't became they didn't become uh, world champions because of the touch okay because spain always played in all the history i think or most of their history he has played they, they have played with a lot of touch i always say that spain they became champions because the players the touch but they run a lot that team in 2010 they run a lot okay they were very fast and they run and run and run and run and in this team in the opposite side which it can be good or bad running can be also be good or, or bad so this team have something that not all the team has not all the team has that is that they are very slow and they're lazy they don't like to run okay lazy don't take me in the ground part okay this is their style okay they're very disciplined they're very good they reach uh, very good positioning in the rank in the fifa ranking so they really know what they're doing okay but this is their style of playing very organized very tactic very disciplined and they are very slow the other thing that this team they have bench they have very good bench they has they have a list at least three players who are in very good uh level uh with did sell okay that he can place uh dembele and the other lukaku okay they have two lukaku lukaku i don't know how to make the pronunciation but they have romeleo lukaku and they have another one which is also uh in very good level beside of them they have uh, two other players a couple of more players that are in very good level so i think this team maybe it can do a good uh, world cup and also this team i think is stronger than the one who went to brazil 2014 why because now they moved they have more talent that they can put in the front and they moved the Bruin to there. Okay, they don't do it all the time. Okay, sometimes if some player uh, cannot play for injury or suspension, they can move the Bruin there and they can put Dembele here with uh, Fellaini or they can try to adjust to a rival, to an opposite team, so maybe the, the Bruin come back there. But just for moving the Bruin there, the Bruin there, okay, they became stronger because they are distributing uh, the other talents in other parts of the, of, the, of the field. And also because they can start organizing from the very beginning of the attacking. Okay, that's very good. Now, how this team plays, besides going back and all of that that I just mentioned, usually they play very, they play, they play very slow and they're going to try to go attacking from the sides. Okay? And once they're there, usually they score by making a cross pass and Lukaku is going to try to make a first touch here. Okay, they have made a lot of goals, a lot of scoring like this, but usually they waste, okay, maybe it's a tactic, it's not a waste, and, but they also have a score like this, but they do this a lot, I don't know if it's a waste of time or not, or, is it, or, it, is, or it is a tactic, but they also come back to the center of the attacking. 
Okay, sometimes they go all the way here and instead of doing a cross pass here, they're just gonna send the ball to the middle and they're gonna try to keep organizing. Okay, and try to score from there. Sometimes they waste a lot of time of, of this. I call it waste of time, but I know it's a tactic, most likely. Okay, and they have scored a lot of goals like this. But also they have take advantage of Lukaku. Okay, and they have made many goals but by Lukaku uh, first touch scoring. Okay, now how this team, how do you beat this team? Okay, this team usually when they go defending, these three centrals, they try to go together and make a group of three, okay, a tight, tight three, and then these two are gonna join them. This is gonna be the uh, defensive midfielder and the Bruyne or Dembele, depending on how the coach is going to uh, play that day. They can go together, okay, or they can go to different sides. Okay, but usually the Bruyne is going to be there, so one is going to be pressuring, and Fellaini, Fellaini is going to try to uh, intercept the passes, okay? But usually this is how they play, so here, between this group of three and Carrasco is going to be a big gap and the same is going to happen here with uh, Menier so then the best way to beat this team is by going between this group of three and the other two defenders that are going to be coming back and remember that you have to shoot directly to the body of this goalkeeper because if you try to go by the sides it has very good reflex and very good elongation it's easier if you try to go put the ball near his body if you want to score okay so one way is coming through these two ways these these two gaps but the best gap will be the carrasco gap carrasco group of three gap because Carrasco is less defensive than Menier. So in reality, you should be attacking this team all the time in this gap. Okay, but that's difficult to control. I understand that. And sometimes you want to attack also in this other gap. That's one way to beat this team. And the second way uh, to beat this team is that these three central backs they don't have good uh, play with the fit to start the attacking from the back so if you go and you pressure them okay maybe you can force a mistake and you can steal the ball and try to generate a possibility okay so try to get to pressure these three before they give the ball to the Bruyne or to Menier or to Carrasco okay this is maybe this is more difficult because you have to pressure and try to steal the ball but it's still something that you can do especially or also when they are attacking and they can try to reorganize and they can send the ball to any of these three you have to go really fast and try to pressure because they have not good playing with their with their foot okay they're not good at making passes or dribbling okay they're more like in defensive okay and the other way that this team is very strong i forgot to mention that is in the corner in the corner kick because they have uh one two three four i think felaini two is very good in a real game so they have several players that can score from a corner kick. Okay, so uh, the other thing about this team is that besides uh, they are, that they are very slow, at the same time, it's a team that is very motivated. Okay, this is not 
contradictory? Because uh, it's not contradictory because uh, what I mean for this team to be highly motivated is that they can be losing one goal, two goals, maybe more, and or having a bad day, and they still keep with their uh, style of playing. So that says for them that they are very focused and very motivated. Okay, you don't have to be like uh, running or getting, going crazy. You just have to play all the time the same way you play. That means that you have a motivation and you believe in the system that uh, the coach is trying to uh, play. Okay, so that's going to be all for this video. If you like this video, uh, you can give me a thumbs up. You can share it or you can subscribe. That way you cannot miss my next video. And just remember that this is mainly an Spanish speaking uh, YouTube channel. It says goodbye to you, the Bible of soccer, not soccer. And thank you very much.